one round in him. If you look at them from a little bit away, you can see some of them has uh, shields and others has um, bad health. Look at this dude. Like this guy doesn't have a shield. This guy isn't healed up. Why did you... Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to press the button. Alright. Oh, wait, no, same. Can we just kill everybody? No. Oh. Oh, well. Why did you do that? Because I, I was... I was doing the resonation. <laughs> Sorry. I... I don't know. I just have a habit of using things when it says I can use them, but I didn't realize that it yeah, was going to do the thing. Yeah, but you could use all of them. I know. You could, use, you could accuse all of them. You could even accuse the sheriff, for God's sake. Ooh. I didn't realize that. Which is... Well, you could probably shoot him. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick up the rest of these quests. But which one should we do? <laughs> There's too many of them. Hammerlock. Let's do his. Just pick up all of them. And let's see where there are more quests. Oh, slappy. Science demands I forgive it. Vengeance demands I kill it. Today, my friend, you will be my vengeance. Hooray. Take my hand. <laughs> Literally. Take his hand. Oh, I've already run away. I'm collecting all the other quests. Guess I'll go back around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, ladies that, are, ladies that I want to bag and sometimes me when I'm drunk. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't know if I want to do a clap chat quest. <laughs> right, where did Mr. What's his name go? Uh... Me. Me. What is it? Did you have a bad dream? Hmm? Did you have a bad dream? <laughs> Didn't know cats could have bad dreams. Yeah, they can. Old Slappy removed several of my limbs. They dream, same as we do. That means it can be a bad one. Yeah. Plant my hand outside Slappy's lair in the Highlands. Uh, Snapchat's birthday bash is... Pause? Here. Right, I'll invite Moxie. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love, though. It's my purely platonic love. <laughs> Surely there's more than one claptrap in this world. I know there's more than one claptrap because I had to rescue half of them in the first game. Um, not really because it's like Wally. There has been more than one Wally, but no, there's not. No. And this next one had better be up to the standard of these ones. The next game, I mean. I'm interested. But it's not the same character. It's not the same um, actor that does Claptrap. No. And nobody can be as annoying as this guy. <laughs> so I'm a bit sad about that. I mean, none of these weapons is going to be better than that. Clappy's having a shindig. You know, I'd go, but I ain't gonna. Come on, buddy. It's time to start the party. Oh, it's going to go down well. Yeah. It's so ridiculously sad and fantastic at the same time. Oops, I've gone too far. Nearly fell off the edge of the... If you fall off, it's okay. It just takes a little bit longer to start this party. In 
joy party. <laughs> mm. Essentially, you just have to be there. I don't know if everyone else isn't here. Why do I have to be here? Because you wasn't his even minion. invited. It's you're just... his minion. You don't have to be cordially mm. invited. I'm just well, the music your feet. You are sitting on a bench. Yeah, on a bench, but you're ten centimeters above it. Interesting. It's this weird gravity they have. Yeah. I'm desperately climbing away from Claptrap <coughs> by going over the rooftops. Oh, you can actually get up here. There's a thing. I'm sure everyone just got lost. This place is kind of hard to find. Feel free to mingle with uh, nobody. Oh. Uh, invisible wall here. Over there. Come on now. Me up here. I am hungry. What's for dinner? What time is it? Half past um, ten. Midnight. It's not midnight yet. It's half past. Yeah. Eleven. Half past nearly midnight. Half past half. It's half midnight. Are you coughing? <laughs> Uh, Let me know when you're done with that job. What are we supposed to be doing? Just says enjoy. Just enjoy your party. Oh, right. I don't have love. Minion, can you blow into this thing? Maybe liven the party up a bit? <laughs> Why? Aww. That's sad. You enjoy the party? Who needs rescuing? You. Both of us? Sorry. This dude banging on the air conditioner. I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for, um, thanks for coming to my party, Minion. It uh, looks like I've loved way too much pizza. So, uh, take them home if you want. Bosh. Do I get free pizza? Oh. Okay then. Can't even take the pizza home. Nope. Cause I ate it all. Do, do, do. I would like some pizza. I would like that pizza because it looks really yummy. It's slightly suspicious. <laughs> oh, where are you sending me, game? Uh, sanctuary hole. Where's that? Oh, it's under the presumably where the sanctuary, sanctuary used to. Uh, are there ones. more uh, places to pick up stuff? No more exclamation marks, and there's nothing left to do here. So. Itchy ear. The Highlands has four things, two of which are undiscovered. Uh, let's see. Of course, the caverns and sanctuary hold is the same thing. Really? Because uh, sanctuary hold. T leans into the coasting cavern coaster caverns. <coughs> uh, the dust is where we find Ellie, mm -hmm. and we can start the clan war between the Hodunks and the what's the faces? The the rednecks and the Irish. <laughs> uh, the good, the bad, and Mordecai has something to do with the. A weapon of some sorts. I think you can find a sniper rifle or something. Mm. Um, We've got pretty good weapons. Then you got the fridge. The undiscovered quest, I think. Ooh. Is. I can't remember which one that is. The cold shoulder is fucking ridiculous because, it, I mean, it's Scooter who's <laughs> trying to collect stuff for his main squeeze. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm yawning. <laughs> um, Stop yawning. We should do the lower level ones or we're never going to do them. 
All of them are lower levels, aren't they? Well, the fridge is level 20. Let's go, uh, let's go oh, Sanctuary right. Hole. Let's sort that one out. Yeah, might as well. Where are we? Sanctuary Hole. Where the heck is it? Uh, caverns. Where are we going? I'm confused now. Doesn't it show you on the thingy? Where you should then, go? Hang on, I've got selected, so yes, I have to go to Three Horns Divide. That's the only yes. thing. Because <clears throat> Three Horns Divide is outside of Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And the thingy on where Sanctuary was before is no longer there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> it moved. Is it? Yeah. Oh, bollocks. Let me in. I tried to switch seat, but I pressed the wrong button. How do you change seat? You can't change to the thingy from there. I'm sure there's a change seat button. Yes, but not in the back of the uh, van. Um, you can change between the driver's seat and the gun seat. And you can change between the left and right side. Okay. How pesky. So I've never been here on account of how I've never got past that mission which lets you back to get to Sanctuary in the first place. So here we are. Yeah. It's <clears> a good place. I quite like the story here. It's got, if you listen to the story, it's quite nice. I have to pay attention. Yeah, somewhat, at least. And then, of course, there's a thing that we can find here somewhere, which we have to go away, all the way back to find. Hmm. And stuff. It's not caustic. This is a nice SMG. Carrot juice? I swear he said carrot juice. Carrot juice? Yeah. It's memorable. Maybe that's what he was going for with his last words. Hello? Something exploded on me. Careful, don't drop it, they say. And then what happens? They drop it. Is it that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and like I said, cost the caverns. This weapon is not very accurate, but it doesn't seem to need to be. <laughs> so no, okay. SMGs are really very accurate. It's all over the place with this one. Hold on a second. It's an SMG. It's like a, it's like an Uzi. It's fire it's and forget. Spread the the amount of half the moon. I need to stop reloading this weapon. <clears throat> Although it has got Why do you why do you keep reloading then? Because I'm so used to clips having like five or six things in them. But when it's got ninety-three and I fired a while, I start to get a little bit itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we can't just jump off, even though this is Pandora. The big arrow is suggesting that I should be able to... They built this quickly, didn't they? In the hour Technically, or so... Technically, it's not built. It's like... It... This... The... the... 
the entire stuff underneath Sanctuary was already there. Um, but they've kind of... Mm. They've kind of uh, moved it around a bit, so it looks a bit weird. Yeah. Oh. Don't know if we needed to open this after all that gold chest stuff. No, it's just for the cash. <laughs> but there is a thing that you can open. Which we have to open from um, the elevator down below. Oh. Let's go then. <sighs> Hello? Who's saying that? Hmm? Someone's talking to me. Someone talking to you? Yeah. I was like a nomad. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Where are you? There he is. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't hear him. There, there is a thing you have to turn. There is a thing you have to turn off. Follow the red cord. Uh, it's going that way. <laughs> Another elevator, does it go down here? No. We're not supposed to go down the other elevator yet. We need to find the red cord, which is up there. Oh, you're behind a thing, are you? I see it. There. All the way up there. By me, that's far. Yeah, we need to we need to find that thing, that thingy the cord is stuck to. There. Yeah. No, oh, that sorry. we need to find the other end. Is that not what we're down here for? Oh, up there. No. See. We need to start to find the red cord to be able to find the red cord because for some reason I can't. I can never find it when I'm already up here. Oh, so that guide it's you? that one. There. Over there. Oh, mm. Mine's not as obvious as yours. Um, it actually made a noise. <laughs> mm-hmm. What changed? Uh we opened the thing. Oh there's a there's a vault symbol up here. Oh? Yeah, right here. I can see it but I can't <laughs> agree to have seen it. That's fine. No, away. you have to you have to find it here. Yeah. Uh come back up. Take the elevator. Do 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 Slow elevator. I can see you move upwards.
Hmm? Climbing along the girders. <laughs> Don't mind me. Unafraid of heights. There we go. Challenge complete. Zoom. Yeah. Stuck on the scenery. There we go. <clears throat> I was trying to point us into that big hole. Oh, I see. So I go down. Because we're supposed to go over there, essentially. See, now that thingy, which was in front of this thingy, is gone. Oh, I didn't think I was paying that much attention. Oh, wow. What happens? Uh. Good enough. <laughs> now I know why I like the voice of the guy on the audiobook. He sounds like you. Me? Yeah. What there was um I had I had it to be fair, it was a shitty recording because it was a person who wasn't used to record audiobooks. Mm -hmm. Um but his voice was relatively soothing. He had a slightly eerier and kind of darker voice. But it sounded like yours. Oh, I don't think I'd be any good at that. Well, no, I mean this guy. Him. You probably don't even know him. I can't rem I can't remember what his name was. Um, but he did uh, one of those. Um, um, what was it called? Librivox recordings. What? Uh, which is essentially, um, it's people who volunteer to read stuff to make audiobook recordings mm -hmm. of books, which either doesn't have a nar narrated version or they want to make a different narrated version. I did um, wonder if hmm? there was a project for that. It seems like an obvious thing that would happen. Yeah, I mean, you've got it. the one that is called LibriVox. They've been doing this for a few years. Um, but sadly, the reason why it was a shitty recording was but because the voice I liked, who was also uh, an English voice hmm. and a guy, was exchanged by a lady from the Midwest with a, with a Southern Virginia kind of dialects oh, yeah. yeah and she spoke upwards and i was like really <laughs> you can't read an audiobook and speak upwards that's just no what was just the book no um robert louis stevenson's the black arrow oh it's a very good book i read it uh in Fourth Oops, grade sorry. or something. Um, but that was a slightly abridged version, the one I read. It wasn't the full book. Um, they had probably just cut a little bit from it because I remember essentially the entire s story when I when I listen to the book now. Mm. Uh, but the reason why I'm listening to the book at the moment is because. I have the original, the book, um, in like one of those uh, combo books, you know, yeah. lots of books Compendium. under one tome. Yeah. So I've got Robert Louis Stevenson's best works, seven seven stories, I think it is, which is essentially um, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, Treasure Island, um, The Black Arrow, and a couple of others. <laughs> Problem is, it's on the original difficult 
old English oh, heck. <laughs> from the 1800s. And it's really tiny writing as well. I think it's like pixel 12 um, in this huge tome, which has like Bible paper. It's so it's so thin. It's really it's a really beautiful tome. But it's so difficult to read. And with my fibro and the brain not working, the brain being adult, sometimes I just can't. I just can't. It just, it just won't, won't work. So I was like, oh, okay, I can find this as an audiobook. That's that's cool. Because I can listen to that difficult language in an audiobook. And that's perfectly fine. I just can't read it. <laughs> just yeah. weird. I don't know if I'd be any good with that either, because uh, I even <clears throat> even read. I tried to read. Uh, well, I did read Tom Sawyer. And even that oh, language that's was it. That's... kind of difficult to read. No, but that's that's because the guy Mark Twain, who wrote Tom Sawyer, has a very very difficult way of of writing. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson doesn't have a ba have a difficult way of writing. It was just the language. That was that was difficult, mm. kind of. He he actually writes quite easily. He makes he makes the story flow pretty good, as long as you manage to to pick up the language. Ooh. Oh, this is the good ones. Literally does no damage. This is a really good part oh, of the story. We shall not be moving the dig site. The Dahl Corporation has sent Sanctuary, their greatest mining ship, to this godforsaken planet to mine crystals. And you have found some. Please Let's round up the creatures so that my mining team may abstract their minerals. So this is going to give me memories of the whatever meetings I was having when I kept coming back to find that you were here. I don't know. I remember, all I remember is returning to the stream and everything had changed and it was all a funny, weird colour. And it was this place. And then oh. I went away again and then, because someone called me away from my desk again. So you're going to have like flashbacks to my stream. Yeah. <laughs> um, I half know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. I really need to do that. Plenty of money. Oh, hello. Yeah, anyway, um, books. Awesome. I believe my weapon is causing the shield boosters to drop. Yeah, I think that's what the blue thing is that pops out is. Where are we going? Over there. Uh, we're going to find blue. Oh, oh fuck. Careful. Water hurts. Yeah, it's not water. The floor is lava. It's essentially caustic, caustic soda. <laughs> oh yeah. Or lye, if you wish. Oop. To be fair, we should probably take out this one last. I'm expecting to see a but vault still. symbol here. Here? I don't think there's one here. It seems like the right place. That. Oh Doo -doo. look! It's the safe! And it's blue. Hi blue. And it's way bigger than the others. And it's blue. That makes sense. Yeah. It's hard not to crit this though. 